Hi everyone, it's Tati here. Today I'll talk about how to safely eat vegan outside in South Korea with a single piece of note, the magic letter. I believe Korea is one of the hardest countries to be a vegan. I lived almost all my life in Korea and I've traveled to a few other countries like the Philippines, Austria, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, and Japan, and more. I was more comfortable in those countries than in Korea. There are a few reasons why Korea is a difficult place to be a vegan. First, many people don't know exactly what a vegetarian or a vegan is. So if you say you're a vegan, they don't know what to give you. Even professionally trained chefs sometimes don't know that. Second, people will look at you like you're a weirdo. It's getting better and better, but Korean society must work more on respecting the diversity of others. Third, as you can guess with the last two reasons, the number of vegan restaurants in South Korea is so low. What's worse is many of them are converged in Seoul, so you would have to look closely to find one in your city. But there are times that we want to go out and eat, or sometimes we have to eat outside. And that's when the magic letter works. This is a paper that explains what you cannot eat. The words are simple and intuitive, but it tells others exactly what you shouldn't consume. So here's what's written. So it means I have severe allergies, so I get very sick when I eat animal product. Is there any food made only with plant that does not contain any of the following ingredients? All meat, including beef MSG, chicken stock, broth, bone broth, gelatin, animal oil, etc. All underwater animals, including anchovy broth, fish sauce, salted fish, anchovies, MSG, crab meat, fish cake, selfish, etc. All dairy products, including milk, butter, yogurt, skimmed milk powder, etc. All eggs, including eggs, quail eggs, liquid powdered eggs, mayonnaise, etc. Others, honey, cochineal, etc. And yes, it doesn't say you're a vegan or a vegetarian. It says you have an allergy. It's because people care more when you say you have allergies than when you say you're a vegan. People might think a meal with just a small amount of animal product still counts as vegan. So, does it really work? My Russian friend told me it works wonderfully, but let's find out. So first, I'll try to find a restaurant that I wouldn't be able to eat um, and show you that it actually works. And they'll tell you that you have nothing to eat here. I'll try to go inside here. This is a restaurant that sells fish. I wouldn't think they have anything to give me. So what I'll do is... I'll just take this paper out of my wallet and show them this. Let's go in. Um, um, could you read this? Is there any um, food that I can eat? Mm. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, thank you. Thank you. He made an X sign and said sorry. So it's clear that they serve no vegan food. Okay. 
Okay, so this could work. It's a makoksu place. It's um, Korean noodle. So I'll prepare my card, the magic letter. So it worked. Um, she actually came to me and double checked for me if the mamimyum and the noodle is okay for me. So it actually worked. So they ordered kumbuk soup for me. It's a noodle with soy bean soup. I'll show you in a bit. Ah, uh, I'm trying to make it. This is kungguk soup. The best kungguk soup I've ever eaten. Oh my god. <laughs> New eating place for you. As you can see, it will tell you whether that restaurant has vegan menu or not. You can print it out and put it in your wallet, or you can just save it in your phone. You can download the file in my blog, and the address is in the description box. Um, but I wouldn't say it's perfect, because many people cook how they're used to, and they might make mistakes. But it will definitely help you more than your body languages or Google Translator. So this is it for today. I'll come back with more tips and guides for vegans in Korea. Please comment me what you like to know and what you want to see in my future video. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>